Hello guys Back with another video of Linux Tool Changer Okay, so right now we have two tool head working and it's printing It's currently printing Okay, so this is the clipper for Linux Tool Changer is in beta That means, I'm uh, sorry, in alpha It's is it's just macros so pure macros there's no uh, plugin or anything so basically you just install uh, i mean download the macros and add them to your cfg files and edit the variables then you can basically run a tool changer so there's no plugin no uh, script or anything it's just pure macros and it has proven and the macros are created by Jack Beam. He's also the uh, founder of Linux Tool Changer. Uh, and he's the one who created these macros for the Tool Changer. And it's currently working. But it's yet to be completed. There's a lot of other things that will be added on to the uh, macro. For instance, the LED status. Uh, crash detection everything but now I've got them working and printing as you can see here and for the Linux itself also okay these are two different hot ends this is uh, the V6 CHP and here is a uh, red lizard K1 so there are two different hot ends is it's best if you use all the same hot end across all the tool head but since this is the hot end that i have currently so uh, it's what i'm using and therefore there can be a lot of uh, things that can be improved if you use the same hot end right now i'm using different hot end so it's uh, a bit difficult i'm using a uh, oka slicer by the way so you have to tune the individual uh, pressure advance, individual flow rate, everything individually because of the different hot ends. And also the uh, uh, filament. So you have to save them in different filament for different hot ends. So there is a bit uh, a hassle. But if you have the same hot end, then it's, uh, it's easier. So, uh, but finally I've got it running without using uh, KTCC, Clipper Tool Changer uh, code. This is just pure macros created by Jack Beam. So if you are interested in uh, printing uh, using a tool changer, two tool head or more, you can join us in our Discord channel. So I'll let this printing first and also the nozzle blocker. So the nozzle blocker for Linux to changer, uh, both have nozzle blocker, but only the T1 has the silicon. T0 doesn't has the silicon because I'm trying to uh, see uh, how different the performance is with and without silicon. Because right now the nozzle blocker is working fine, but only the silicon uh, one has it. So we'll see for both and also uh, the notch is going well with the script created by Jack Beam as well. Also is uh, there's no plugin, it's just pure macros and uh, once uh, everything is uh, ready I will show a picture of the finished uh, printed printing STL. This is a Voron cube with a different uh, color, two color. So once this has finished, I will show the result. And also, there is no prime tower. We are going to be printing totally without prime tower. We don't want any wastage, so we there will be no prime tower at all. So we will try to optimize everything to print without a prime tower or push tower or wipe tower, so as to minimize wastage. Uh, okay, so there's still a lot of de development in progress for Linux Tool Changer. And you can join us in our Discord channel. See you guys.
Alright guys So this is the finish Waron cube As you can see here uh, The black filament is not so uh, Good I think the black filament Has some uh, Moisture in it Because it's quite old But the blue one is good But so far quality wise Still can be improved because of the hot end sometimes you need to wait you know for the temperature to stable that's why it's important to use the same hot end so you can set it better but everything so far looks good and we're going to try another print another model printing and we'll see how it goes <laughs> 